Bride tells six police officers to stand at altar, Groom realizes he's been set up. In this day and age, people seem to get a kick out competing to see who throws the most extravagant wedding ceremony. Some people spend years planning their wedding, even starting before they get engaged. All over the internet, from Pinterest to YouTube, you can find the most off-the-wall ideas for decor and wedding dresses, first dance videos, and so on. However, some wedding videos are particularly strange. Weddings are special occasions and, as such, people want their weddings to be a really outstanding event. From color schemes to floral arrangements or bridesmaids' dresses and speeches, all has to be planned to make the most of the big day. Every bride gets really busy for the weeks leading up to the ceremony, making sure everything will be perfect. But this woman decided that even the most fastuous wedding wasn't enough. Cassandra from Florida had thought of something special for the day of her wedding. Even her soon-to-be husband Ryan wasn't aware of what she had in mind. And when it finally happened, it was all recorded on video. It soon was posted on the internet, it went viral, and millions of people have seen it and commented on it. For every wedding, gifts are one of the most important parts of the ceremony. Traditionally, these gifts were oriented toward making it easier for the new couple to start living together in their new home. But nowadays, people usually start living together before they get married. But still, gifts are still a very important piece of every wedding, no matter if they come from the guests or if they're gifts from one of the newlyweds to each other. And Cassandra was about to blow everyone's mind with her gift. Usually, brides and grooms get each other presents to celebrate the big ceremony. Generally, these are not expensive, but just cute and thoughtful little gifts. Socks, in case someone gets cold feet, handkerchiefs, to wipe away tears of joy, or a letter. However, Cassandra decided to buy his groom a special gift. And it would make everyone's eyes wide open. Traditionally, the best man and the father of the bride are the ones who make the speeches at the ceremony. It's quite unusual for a bride to make a speech. But this bride decided to skip the tradition. So she compassed a speech that would surprise her groom, the guests, and all the viewers on the internet who witnessed it. The wedding was going alright. Everyone was having the time of their lives when, suddenly, Cassandra tapped on her glass, asking for silence. Everyone was confused at this. What did she want to do or say? Everyone turned around and set their eyes on her. But then, they saw six big, bulky men walking in. They stood behind the groom. But what for? What in the world was going on? Was it some sort of joke? Everyone was wondering what would happen next. Not even the six men that Cassandra had called were fully aware of Cassandra's plan. But then, she spoke up. She said that she had hidden something around the room for the guests. This made everyone excited. They couldn't wait to know what was going to happen next. Was it some sort of game? Cassandra prompted everyone to stand up and start looking for what she had hidden somewhere in the room. Everyone got up and frantically started searching. They went all around the room, looking behind the presents, under the tables and chairs, all around the cake. Everyone was wondering what could it be that Cassandra wanted them to find. But then, the bride said something. Sometimes, couples give some sort of gift to the guests as a memento of the big day. These gifts can be a candle, a trinket, or a glass. Usually, they have the names of the couple and the date of the wedding written on them. And that was exactly what the guests were expecting to find. However, it would turn out to be something really different. Cassandra had really thought something that would blow everyone's mind. Eventually, one of the guests found a small envelope and yelled out that they had found it under the seat. Everyone quickly searched under their own seats, and sure enough, they each found their own sealed envelope. They were wondering what the envelopes contained. But once the bride gave them permission to look inside, everyone's excitement became pure confusion. The guests' eyes widened as they ripped open the envelopes and looked inside. Inside every envelope was a $3 Dunkin' Donuts voucher, enough to buy just one treat. But why was the bride giving out something as unromantic as Dunkin' Donuts vouchers? Everyone was extremely confused, but this was all part of Cassandra's plan. After such a huge buildup of excitement searching for the gifts, all the guests found themselves feeling quite underwhelmed at the sight of the cheap vouchers. And what was the relevance of this random offering from the bride? Even the groom himself didn't know what to make of Cassandra's strange speech and gifts. Then, Cassandra tapped on her champagne glass and asked for everyone's attention again. A sea of confused faces quieted down and looked back up at her as she began to explain herself. You see, the vouchers that had been given out were not intended to be for the guests in attendance. Murmurs of surprise rose up from the room. Then, Cassandra explained that the gifts were relevant to the six men she had called into the room. In their excitement, the guests had completely forgotten all about them. The bride went on to explain that the vouchers were for someone that they all know, but also may not have met yet. What was going on? She introduced the men as brothers in arms to her husband, fellow police officers who served alongside her husband on the local police force. A little bit of recognition rippled through the crowd, but still, they were puzzled about why the bride had insisted on getting them up during her speech. 
She went on to describe the men courageous, selfless, thoughtful, strong and kind. However, this was not always the way they were treated. So often there is a lack of respect paid to the police force and the public's treatment of them is unfair, according to the bride. She explained the sacrifice that her husband and his team make every day risking their lives, leaving their families to report for duty, never really having time off like most of the guests do. The policemen stood a little shyly, unused to such high praise and being the center of attention. The rest of the audience was also feeling a little awkward, thinking about what the bride was saying and asking themselves if they too were guilty of the lack of respect that she was describing. They were also, rather understandably, still curious about the situation and wondering what the vouchers were about. What did they have to do with the police officers? All was about to be revealed. There's a common notion about police officers. They love donuts and coffee. This cliché has been perpetuated in many films and TV shows and pop culture. Even the adult animated show The Simpsons portrays policemen in this way always drinking coffee and dunking a donut into it. Finally, the bride's intentions were starting to become clear. The bride was well aware of this common perception about donuts and policemen, and she cleverly decided to play on the stereotype. Each voucher she had provided for her guests would be redeemable to purchase one hot coffee and one donut from Dunkin' Donuts. But, instead of using them themselves, the bride had another plan up her sleeve. The bride tapped her glass with a spoon and addressed the confused crowd again. She pressed them to keep the vouchers for coffee and a donut and passed them along to the next police officer they happened to come across. She intended for all her guests to show gratitude and respect for the city's police officers by buying them a small treat. But why? Cassandra explained to her guests that although the vouchers were just a small toke like all small, random acts of kindness, they can go a long way to making someone's day. She hoped that the vouchers would make some police officers smile and feel as though they are appreciated. But Cassandra's gifts actually meant so much more. To Ryan, Cassandra's dumbstruck groom, the gesture meant so much more. He was touched that she had planned out such a unique and heartfelt way of telling him that she respected and supported his choice to become a police officer. And, not only that, but her gesture had extended to his fellow officers as well. He quickly became emotional and tearfully thanked his wife for what she had done, it was the best gift he had ever received. The six officers gave the bride a warm hug to show how touched they were, too. Ryan felt as if his gift to his wife would never live up to the amazing gesture Cassandra had planned so carefully, and, honestly, he'd be forgiven for thinking so. However, he had a speech of his own for his wife. Of course, the entire wedding was recorded by the couple's videographer and even by some of the guests. Soon, the footage was uploaded online for the world to see. It was also a way to share the day's magical events with those who had not attended the ceremony. But, nobody anticipated just how far it would spread. The video exploded on social media and went viral, garnering over 180,000 views. But how did viewers react to the touching video? The comments continued to pour in. Civilians, police officers, and their families all showed their support and gratitude. One of the many viewers was the wife of a police officer. In her comment, she explained how difficult it was for her to raise a family while her husband was out on long shifts to protect his country. She also voiced how difficult it was for her, knowing that something could happen to him while he was in the line of duty, a very real fear for police officers' families. The video was shared far and wide, and it inspired hundreds of people. People were so touched by Cassandra's tribute to police officers that they decided to spread some love of their own. It's incredible to think that one bride's wedding video touched the hearts of thousands of people worldwide. The video also happened to come at a time when tensions between the police force and civilians were especially high, making its message doubly important. Cassandra had thought long and hard about the perfect gift to give her husband. But instead of settling on a token gift like a watch or hip flisk, she decided to make a grand gesture to show her love. Rather than giving her wedding guests a meaningless gift that would quickly be forgotten about, Cassandra had decided to give them something that they would remember forever. Hopefully, this story inspires many people to remember those who it's so easy to forget about while we get on with our safe, comfortable lives. Of course, I'm referring to the men and women who put their lives on the line every day to serve and protect their country and the people living in it. Next time you see a police officer, a small thank you will go a long way. However, Cassandra taught her guests a second lesson that day. Another lesson to learn from Cassandra and Ryan's wedding video is that the best gift you can give your loved one is showing your support and appreciation for what they do.